You know he about to go. Dude, they just beat his ass. Okay, I can see the first time, but now that second time, dude, they should just let that nigga go. Oh, it's filming? Oh, it is. Is it okay for me to film them? Okay. Don't get me beat up. The use of drugs and alcohol beverages was prohibited. And the brothers held daily exercises because during Black August, emphasis is placed on sacrifice, fortitude, and discipline. Say it again. Sacrifice. Oh, I gotta read the whole part. The use of drugs and alcoholic beverages was prohibited and the brothers held daily exercise exercises because during Black August emphasis is placed on sacrifice, fortitude, and discipline. Black August is a time to embrace the principles of unity, self-sacrifice, political education, physical training, and resistance. I'm gonna repeat that. The principles of unity. Repeat after me. Unity. Unity. Self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice. Political education. Political education. Physical training. Physical training. And resistance. And resistance. The tradition of fasting during Black August teaches self-discipline. A conscious fast is in effect from sunrise to sunset, suggested from six to eight, six a.m. to eight p.m. Or you would like the gods from seven to seven. This includes. The refraining from drinking water or liquids or eating foods of any that um, of any kind during that period. Since if people who are practicing that are not inside prison, it's a little bit more pleasant. However, we try to obtain the most form of discipline to remind to be reminded of the sacrifice that the comrades are making and that are incarcerated. The sundown meal is traditionally served whenever possible amongst comrades and collectors. On August 31st, a people's feast is held and the fast is broken. Black August fasting should serve as a constant reminder of the conditions of our people who have faced and still confront. Fasting is uncomfortable at times, but it is helpful reminder to all of those who have come and gone before us. If we stand tall, it is because we stand on the shoulders of our many ancestors. Black August Hip Hop Project our urban guerrilla rap that strives to promote urban human rights through supporting and influencing the global development of hip hop culture and fabricating exchanges between international communes where hip hop is a vital part of our culture, of the youth culture, of black culture. We promote awareness about the social and political issues that affect the global communities and our vision is to bring culture and politics and allow them to naturally evolve and develop into a unique hip hop consciousness that informs our collective struggle for a more just, equitable, and human world. All power to the people! All power to the people! Is there any questions on that before I get into the tenants? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Long live the Long live the Long live the Long live the dragon! Long live the dragon! Ha! What? Ha! Black August, the five tenets of the Black August program. Y'all see the dragon. The dragon represents George Jackson. George Jackson had quoted the great Ho Chi Minh, a revolutionary general and leader of the Vietnam uh, People's Army, the North Vietnam People's Army, a poet, uh, poetic quote saying, when the prison gates open, if you know it, finish it. When the, the prison gates open, the dragon will emerge. The dragon will emerge. When the prison gates open, the dragon will emerge. 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 The
dragon will emerge. When the prison gates open, the dragon will emerge. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that represents, you know? This Black August, the five tenets of the Black August program. Number one, a fast which historically has been used as an expression of personal commitment and resistance. Hence, from sunrise 